Hi there, I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey, and today I'm going to give you a trading tip for any platform, but I'm going to give it to you in trade station format for limiting the number of trades per week. So let's get started. First, our disclaimer, don't trade with money you can't afford to lose. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Treat all results as hypothetical. So with that out of the way, let's jump into it. So here's a simple moving average crossover system. You know, we've all seen these systems. And here's the equity curve for it. Okay, not that great. Okay, it makes money in the end, but it also had, uh, what, $60,000 drawdown? Nobody would in their right mind would probably trade this if they saw this back test. Also has almost 1,100 trades, so it trades quite a bit in little over uh, four years. So it started in 2020. So you might say, wow, that, you know, that's trading almost every day. Maybe I'm trading too much. And if you look at the chart showing the trades, I zoomed in on a particular couple of days and you can see, this is the, looks like the end of February, 2024, but you can see from the 25th through the 29th, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's probably a do almost a dozen trades there. And you got to ask yourself, does the moving average crossover or any signal have 12 opportunities in three or four days? You know, does it really give you multiple opportunities? Most edges, most good strategies just don't have that many opportunities. So maybe you want to filter some of those trades out. Here's one way to do it. It is by limiting the number of trades. Okay, how could you do that? There's a lot of different ways you could do it. You could get confirmation of the crossovers, all sorts of things. But what I'm gonna talk about is, hey, maybe just trade one long trade a week and one short trade a week and no more. This will help you from getting whipsawed too much where you go long, short, long, short, long, short, all in a week. We're just going to limit it. We're going to say, hey, we can take one long trade, one short trade. Okay. So here is the code in TradeStation. There's a link to it in the description where you can download it yourself. And I should point out, this is discussed on the TradeStation forum. If you go to the link that's up at the top, You'll find the topic where it's talked about. I didn't write the original code, so I want to give credit where credit is due. This comes from TradeStation. I modified it a little bit that you can uh, look at the results before and after with it. But to start it out, it's got an input that's called Trade Switch, which if it's off, you're going to take all the trades and if it's equals one it's on and then the trades will be limited so the results I showed you before were with the trade switch off then you have a variable long week trade false it's just initialized to false and short week trade I'll show you what those mean in a second which is right now so I'll walk you through this code and this will help you if you want to convert it to a different trading language because I think it could pretty much work in any trading language so what it's doing, it's using the keywords, which are all in blue, day of the week. So it's saying if the day of the week on this date is less than the day of the week on of the previous bar, then you do these things. So basically, what it's looking for is when it's a Monday, it's now going to be less than a Friday. I think a day a week, uh, the way TradeStation does it, I believe Monday is one and Friday is five. I could be off on that, but in any event, Mondays are always going to be less numerically than Fridays. So when that happens, then it resets this trade flags. These are trade flags. Resets them to false. And so now we set that aside. Then we're looking at market position. So it, market position is a keyword in trade stations. Either plus one means you're long. Zero means you're flat, minus one means you're short. So it's saying, hey, as long as we're not flat and 
the position changed from the previous bar. So MP1 in square brackets means one bar ago. So if the market position on the close of this bar is different than the last bar, then we set it, the flag to true depending on if it's long or short. So this will prevent future trades. Should point out that if you have a trade that gets in and out on the same bar, we don't have that case here, just the way we have it set up, but it would not work. Uh, it doesn't recognize if you enter and exit the same bar. You'd have to do some different coding. So once it knows you've had a long trade in this week, it won't let you take any more of them, okay? And then if your trade switch equals one, meaning that you always want to trade, then it you set that to one. And that'll, that'll keep it reset all the time. So going back there, uh, I might have had this backwards here. Uh, I think if it equals zero, then the trades will be limited. So I apologize for that. that that'll be corrected in the code that you see in the description. Okay, so basically your entry and exit are down at the bottom. If the long week trade switch is not equal to true, and this is the moving average crossover code, then you buy the next bar at market, and the same sort of thing for the selling short. So this will lim limit the number of trades you take. And here's what it looks like. Now, remember, the previous one showed all these trades all over the place. This doesn't take trades as often. You can see, remember, I showed you around the 25th to the 29th, there were about 10 trades. Well, now it looks like there's one coming into this, one here, a short trade, and then a long trade. And if we look at the equity curve, much nicer. Still not something you'd probably trade, but again, this is just an example and you can see there's a lot fewer trades. Remember we had about 1,100 trades. This has about 400. So this code is kind of nice, a nice way to limit the number of trades by limiting to one short position or one long position in a given week. This could help you prevent over trading. The key though is don't use it after you look at the results and then say, oh, hey, I'm going to add this in there. Do it before running your test because otherwise you're optimizing for it, right? You do it with and without and you pick the better result. That's just optimization and that's dangerous. I don't show it here, but you could modify this to do it on a daily or monthly basis if you'd rather do that. Limit the number of trades per day or month. You could also limit it, you'd have to adjust the code to limit it to maybe two trades a week each direction. A lot of different ways you can play that, but I just wanted to put the idea in your head that this is something that, hey, maybe it would work for you, especially if you find yourself with too many low quality signals. All right, so that's it. Again, the trade station code is going to be in the link. You can download it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know. If you want me to make more of these trade station tips, let me know. Send me an email. Hit the like button. Send me a, a put a comment here. Because I won't keep making them if people don't like them. But if they do, I have a whole bunch more I can make. I'm Champion Trader Kevin Davey. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.